In today's video, I'm going to share with you a bit of advice on how you can find the right strings for your cello. Recently, I changed three strings on my cello that you can see in this video right here, all Larson brand, and I thought that everything was going to be wonderful. Yet, something I need to share with you happened. It starts here. This is a regular Larson medium tension D string. This is a G string, medium tension. But if you look closely, it says soloist edition. Yes, it is more expensive. It is considered the premium of the Larsons, but it is not for my instrument. You would think, oh, because it's more money, it's going to sound better on my instrument. That is a myth because not all instruments are built the same. Particularly for the Magna Core, which is a Larson string, by the way, can cost you upwards of three to $400, depends on what part of the planet you're in. Those strings, if you look into the description of exactly what they do, they're meant to really project the instrument. And if you think about the type of ensemble work you're doing, at the type of playing you are doing, what, what personality will those strings lend to your performance? If you are simply trying to learn at home and want the most reliable you can get, something like a Yarger is my preferred brand for all of my students. Yargers are like the Toyota of strings. They're 100% reliable, they can never go wrong, and they're quite ubiquitous. If you want to go with a more Chevrolet, then these Dodarios are wonderful as well. Again, it really depends upon what your preference is. Yet I cannot stress to you, spending more money on a string, on a set of strings, will not make you sound any better. Sometimes it will make you sound worse. Soloist strings like this one, in my opinion, project far too strong, and especially on a cello like mine. Mine is a modern Italian instrument, and you may play an antique instrument that requires strings to truly project and draw out its music. But for so many of us out there who are playing modern instruments, a set of Yargers or Larsons will do you just fine. Which brings me to my last point and the reason for this video. How do you know which strings are correct for your cello? The answer is found out by trial and error. A reputable luthier that believes in customer service in the modern era will allow you to come to their shop with your cello to try a set of shop strings. These are strings lying around and they're in every single luthier. All you have to do is ask. They're taking off of rental instruments, they're taking off of repairs, and they're plentiful. Go and ask, hey, can I try a Larson? Can I try a Yarger? Can I try a MagnaCore if they have one lying around? And they'll possibly hand you a bucket or a basket full of these strings and you can go through it. It won't give you the entire idea of what it is like to play on a new string, but it will save you a considerable amount of money. But let me tell you, if you put on a tungsten wound soloist edition string on your cello, it's gonna sound very different from a regular Larson string on your cello. And having access to some shop strings at your luthier will save you a considerable amount of investment. If you don't have access to a luthier and you do most of your shopping for cello online, then you're going to have to settle for the fact that trial and error will allow you to discover the correct string and combination of strings for your cello. And I say combination because many cello players like to have a different type of string for the low parts of the cello as opposed to the high. There are plenty of videos talking about that, but in this video, I'm telling you that the best option for you is to know exactly the type of music and ensembles you will be playing with, what sound you want on your instrument, and if you don't have access to a luthier with shop strings, 
Start at a baseline, something you can compare everything from. And please, don't go out there and spend a whole bunch of money on strings because they're not necessarily going to make your cello sound better. Learn from my mistakes and incrementally discover the type of string that you really, really want on your instrument. And understand it will change over time. It will change with the seasons, with the repertoire, with the ensemble. It's always going to change <laughs> and it can get very expensive. So take everything with a dose of caution and learn from other cello players like me. Don't go out there and spend tons of money on these strings because in the end, the best judgment will come from up here. I hope you learned something because I certainly did and it's another humbling thing to admit. Spending more money does not equate to a better sounding string on your cello. Thank you again for including this channel on your journey of music discovery. Here is more content that you might find interesting and I hope you go out there and prudently find the right strings for you. Have a nice day wherever you are.